I am Anil Kumar and now I have taken few fractions and decimal numbers while evaluating algebraic expressions. The question here is evaluate for a equals to 2.4 and b equals to 4.2. We have four questions here. I'd like you to pause the video and take it as a test. Once you have done, check with my solution. The first one here is 2 times a minus b over 2. The second one is a minus 2a minus b over 2. The third one is 1 plus 2 times a minus b over 3 and the last is 3a minus b over 3, right? So let's begin from the very first one. So what we do here is we write the expression and replace all these variables with their given value. a is 2.4, so it is 2.4 and b is 4.2. So let me write 4.2 here and complete the question, right? So the expression is kind of like this, correct? So if you compare, what I have done here is, I have replaced A by 2.4 and B by 4.2. So that is the first step. Now we need to simplify and evaluate, right? So, so let us simplify this first. So it is 2 times 2.4 and 4.2 divided by 2 is 2.1, right? So minus 2.1. That gives you 2 times 2.4 minus 2.1 is... 0.3. You can also do this on the side, correct? Like, like you can do like this, 2.4 take away 2.1, align the decimals, you get 0.3. And now you multiply, so you get 0.6 as your answer. So follow the steps to solve. I hope that is absolutely clear. Now let's do the next one. So the first step here, like what we did, is to replace the variables with the given values, right? So the given values for us is A is 2.4 and B is 4.2, right? So let us replace A with 2.4 and B with, so we have got 2.4 minus within bracket, we are dividing something by 2, so I'm replacing only A and B with red ink. So A is 2 times 2.4. So I'll write this in bracket, 2.4, okay? And B is 4.2, 4.2, right? That is how it is. It is, let me write clearly, okay? So let me rewrite this. So we have 2.4 take away within brackets 2 times minus okay two times a which is 2.4 it is still not that good okay anyway uh, minus 4.2 divided by the number 2 itself okay anyway i hope you understand so so what we need to do here is to evaluate the bracket first so what do we get here is 2.4 take away 2 times 2.4 is how much 4.8 so 4.8 minus 4.2 divided by 2, correct? So I hope you can see this. Let me push it a bit on the right. Okay, so we get 2.4 take away 4.8 minus 4.2 is 0 0.6 divided by 2. Now that is 2.4 minus 0 0.6 divided by 2 is 0 0.3. So when you take away 0 0.3 from 2.4, what do you get? you get 2.1. I know this could be a bit tricky for some of you. So you can do it on the side also. You can do like this, 2.4 take away 0 0.3, right? And then align the decimals to get the value. Do you see that? So likewise, you can practice doing such questions. These two are for you to practice. So first step, of course, will be, you need to write this as one plus two times a value which is 2.4 and then take away and B value is 4.2 right so 4.2 so you have to take away 4.2 well you don't have to use two pens to do all this I'm just doing it so that becomes very clear to you right so it is 1 plus 2 times 2.4 one third of 4.2 divided so 4 goes 1 times take away 1 so you get 12 times 4 right so when you 
do this, you get 1 plus 2 times 2.4 take away 1.4 is number 1. So you get 1 plus 2, which is indeed 3. So that is how you could actually evaluate, right? Let's do the last one. So it is 3 times the value of A. It's good to put it in brackets, 2.4, right? Minus B over 3. B is 4.2. So what we get here is 3 times 2.4, 4, 4 times 3 is 12, 2 and 1. 3 times 2 is 6 and 1, 7. So you get 7.2. Take away 4.2 divided by 3. So you could do long division, right? So we can do it on the side and check it out. So we have 4.2 and we'll divide it by 3. 3 times 1 is 3. So what you get when you take away is 1. When you borrow the number after decimal, you have to put decimal here. No need to put it here, right? And it goes 4 times 12. Do you get the idea, right? So we can use 1.4 as 4.2 divided by 3. So we get 1.4. And now, you can again do it separately, 12, borrow 1, it becomes 6, right? So 12 take away 4 is 8, and when you borrow 6 take away 1 is 5, so it is 5.8. Now these questions are really tricky at this stage for you. I like you to copy them, do them separately, one on each page, follow the steps, and I hope that should give you good practice. Thank you, and all the best.